Budget Fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are cash stuffing $655. We do have $445 going into bills and $170 going into our variable spending like groceries, gas, fast food, that kind of thing. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is Jordan. We like to do cash stuffings on this channel. We do a bit of budgeting talk as well as how I make money on YouTube and Etsy. I'm also a single mom of two little boys and I homeschool one of the boys. There's a lot going on around here, so I hope you will subscribe and stick around. But for this video, let's go ahead and count this money and make sure we have the $655 that we think we have. 50, 150, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 70, 90, 510, 530, 50, 70, 90, 600, 610, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 655 dollars. If you hear kids in the background, my boys are both out of school and off of their routine because of the Mardi Gras holiday. We are going to start with our bills binder. I am someone who likes to pull money from the bank every single week. I go ahead and stuff everything as far as like my sinking funds, savings challenges, things I'm saving for short term and long term. I also like to stuff my variable spending like my gas and my groceries and every single week I do pull extra money to stuff towards bills. I get a lot of questions about this so I just wanted to make a note that I do stuff bills every single week. I go to the bank once a week, I pull extra money than I than what I need for that week. I stuff money into the bills binder so by the end of the month I can pull all of the money that's in here and pay bills for that next month that's coming up. So it is the end of February start of March right now so basically we're saving for April's bills at this point but you will see all of my binders are now empty this is kind of like a restart but this is something that I do every single month so stuffing the bills for April let's go ahead and pull $200 towards April's rent I also get questions about this a lot, about how I'm making it, it's too much work to go to the bank extra. Like I said, I do go to the bank just once a week and then at the end of the month when I'm pulling money to stuff into say sinking funds and other things that are staying in the binders, I do go ahead and put all of the bills cash in the bank on that trip. So I'm only going to the bank one time per week. Preschool is going to get $100. I pay $410 every month to my son's private preschool. Mother's Helper or school is going to get $50. Electric is going to get $20. My electric bill has been going up. I need to like look at that bill and see Am I just using more or is the price of energy going up right now? I don't know. Are you guys' bills staying the same right now or are things kind of scaling upwards with inflation as far as like your electric bill, for example? Gymnastics, gymnastics did increase thanks inflation. Uh, it's always been $100 a month. It is now $110 a month, which is not too bad of a jump, honestly. Internet, internet did go up to $70. It's always been 60. We are going to add $10 to internet. Next is gym and pool. I pay $50 to a gym, mostly for the pool, indoor pool access for my older son who is homeschooled. We're gonna put $10 into that gym and pool. And then renter's insurance. I pay about $25, $27 for renter's insurance. So we're gonna add $10. Pets, pets does still have some money. This is primarily for if my kids, if my kids, <laughs> this is primarily for if my guinea pigs need to go to the vet. So ideally this money will be stacking. Now if I do do, if I do do, <laughs> if I have a large purchase of hay or something for the guinea pigs, then I might pull some of this money, but I am trying to keep this rolling and keep this like, it's like a sinking fund, but I wanted to go ahead and put it into bills so that I make myself make it a priority because when it was in sinking funds or savings challenges, I was just like, oh, they don't need anything and I was not putting a lot of money into it. So I'm treating it like a bill. My goal is to put $100 every single month, whether we need that or not, so we can save for when there is an emergency or vet need. So Pets now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 125 dollars for Pets. Next is Nashville. We're not going to put anything in this now. As we are able to stuff ex extra money, we will put money into that. But for now, we are not going to put anything there. 
I do want to take this time to say thank you to those of you that did tip me over on Etsy. If you do the tip the seller listing over on Etsy, that money goes to self care for me, which is something I'm really good at neglecting. However, this month I am doing a no spend. So all of the tips are going towards this 100 envelope savings challenge, which is saving for a new car for me. So this week in tips, you guys gave me $40. Thank you so much. Thank you to Kathy. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Mac. Mac, that was a lot. Thank you so much. And thank you, Marielli. So in total, you guys gave me $40 towards tips, which of course is going to go into this. So we're going to put the $40 here. So that was 40 in tips and we do already have the 40 colored in. So we are going to add five more dollars equaling, equaling $45 towards the 100 envelope savings challenge. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you guys. I love that you make room for me in your budget. I think that is just so thoughtful and so sweet of you. It is 100% not necessary or expected, but I do find it very, very generous and kind of you guys. So thank you for the tips this week. 100 envelope savings challenge. We now have $200 in a savings account. That is just play money to remind me what that money in the savings account is for. So we have 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 420, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, $475 for the 100 envelope savings challenge and towards the start of a down payment for a new car for me. So that was the bills and that was the 100 envelope savings challenge and the tip money from you guys. Again, thank you. Uh, we are gonna move on to variable spending. So this video I think is gonna be a short one, short and sweet. So groceries this week is going to get $120. Next is gas for the car. Gas is always $30, though of course I am going out of town for travel very soon. So it's gonna be more towards the end of this week as I go out of town. But for now, we are just gonna put $30 here. And then the last thing that we're stuffing is fast food. Fast food is going to get 20 again because this weekend will be the start of my traveling to Nashville to visit the area. I'm gonna need more than fast food. For now, we're gonna go ahead and stuff $20. And then back here are some categories that I would be stuffing if I was not doing like a no spend, but I'm wrapping up February with a no spend. So I've been trying to not put any extra money into any of my self care or haircuts or any of those kind of, kind of things that I don't need anyway. By March, we will be back to stuffing self care envelopes. So I'm excited about that. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.